Welcome to Come Get Some Studios' first gun safety and cleaning program. We are going to start out with one of our very first weapons of choice. It's going to be the Glock, Model 22, fourth generation. Now, I don't have any other semi-automatics thus far except two Glocks. And that is the Model 23, second generation, and the Glock 22, fourth generation. This Blackhawk Serpa is what the firearm is sitting in. And this Serpa actually fits both the Glock 22 and the Glock 23. Um, in fact, even my duty holster will fit both weapons. Um, I have one duty holster that will only fit this one, though. Um, if you know how to tear down one of these, um, they're not that hard. They're pretty easy. Um, this is mainly for people who don't know how to tear down a Glock, who's a first-time Glock owner. Um, I will tell you... Um, uh, I'll have another video that I'll actually show you the difference between the Model 22 and the Model 23, the difference between the 4th Gen and the 2nd Gen. Um, it's possible that I may even have a 3rd Gen on the 23. I'm not really too clear on what generation my 23 is, but both guns are 40 cal. Um... The reason why both guns are 40 cal is this way I don't have different types of ammunition sitting in my house for different types of semi-automatics. That is a good way to mismatch your, um, your, your magazines and ammunition. If you may grab a box of 40s, um, or what you think is 40s, because it's sitting next to your 40 cal mags, and your your it was actually a box of nine millimeters. Now I will tell you this: by mistake, during a um, a fluke error, uh, during a uh, requalification, um, I've seen physically seen a Glock 40 shoot an entire 15 round mag with one in the pipe, nine millimeter rounds. Will it do it? Yes, it will do it. Will the gun explode? Well, I don't know. Um, it, it didn't in this particular incident, but um, yes, it, it will shoot 9mm. Do I recommend it? No, I would not. Um, what I like about the Serpa is your finger is right there to release, and as the gun comes out of the holster... Look where your finger's at. It is not on the trigger. See that? Your finger automatically glues to the side. Now, all my firearms, mainly my duty weapon, they are all loaded. Um, that is for home invasion protection purposes. Why all my guns stay loaded. Um, my duty is one that I like to keep around and out easy access in case of a home invasion um, I am surgical with this thing um, I'm more surgical with my with a 12 gauge shotgun but we'll get to that a little later on in these segments um, come get some studios is gearing right now toward um, how to properly clean and maintain a firearm, especially Glocks, um, and different types of weapons. Um, so periodically, um, w at the studio, we'll get the uh, wild, crazy hair up our butt and pull out a new gun, and decide to show you how to clean it and properly maintain that. Since we, if if we don't carry this like this, gets carried every day. So this gets wiped down at least once a week. Um, and it gets thoroughly cleaned once a month, um, and then a real, real good scrub once every six months. Um, and I'll explain all of that here in a second. Um, 
as you can tell it's a Glock now what's nice is the Glock mags um, you push this little button um, on, on a Glock mag um, the, this little button right here you push that in this plate slides down um, and it allows you access to your spring which you can clean once every three four years um, just to make sure you get all that weather um, if, if you use this for a duty weapon you want to make sure you get the weather out of there like the rain the snow the dust uh, over a course of three years this can get dirty not as dirty as your firearm but it does get dirty plus you also get uh, soot in there from gunpowder this is a 15 round mag you got uh, five four six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen and fifteen um, again 15 round mag it's marked 40 caliber here um, it's marked Glock Austria here um, and it's number two um, don't know what the two means except unless you're doing E equals MC square then two would mean square um, but that's for a physics class when this isn't a physics class so we're gonna set the mag down there okay now we're gonna pick up the, the Glock alright with every firearm you want to make sure it's empty now uh, you saw the round pop out of there I'm pulling it back three times why because I want to make sure nothing else but this one little round came out. So we're going to set that next to the mag. Okay. Now, this is called dry fire. 